Ah, oh, hello. Welcome back everyone to the channel. I'm back with another play along video for you lot to enjoy. This is for more for the British fans, I guess. Uh, it's the Weatherspoons map. Done a few of these already and they're good fun. Let's full screen that. Let's play it. Uh, what else have I got to say? The editing is going very well for the latest mission. I'll be revealing where that mission was filmed very soon, but you're gonna love it. It's editing up a real treat. Uh, but for now, let's see if we can find any drunken revelers on the streets of Britain. No time limit, no move. That's how we like to do it. It's the best way to do it, just the same as the Capitals map. So yeah, do play along. Have a look at those instructions in the description. Because, um, you know, you don't have to be from Britain to, to have a go at this. It might be that there's glaringly obvious clues that are right next to you on this map. But I also want a couple of tricky ones as well to make it interesting. I want some good detective work. And drunken revelers, here we go. Round one. The punch bowl. Okay, there's a fair bit going on here. We're on Blossom Street. And we're at the Punch Bowl Weatherspoons. I will turn around and have a look very soon. I will just check to see if we're filming. Early doors. That's probably the earliest... One of the earliest ones I've ever done. Right, this guy... It looks like he's got a bag on. I don't think he's really a typical Weatherspoons. I don't think he's a regular. Uh, I think he just happens to have gone in there. I think he's visiting this town, wherever we are. Let's turn around and have a look. We've also got this guy. Oh, my God. Wow. Where's that? I recognise that. I'm not going to try and guess. We've got this guy. Is he, is he waiting at the lights? What are the lights on? The lights are on... Yeah, the lights are on red. He's waiting at the lights. Angrily, I would say and staring us out while he's doing it. Right, Blossom Street, come on, we need clues now. There's another pub, the Windmill. There's a Premier Inn in an old sort of Art Deco building with a clock on. We do know that it's 27 minutes past two. We do know that much. Whether that could possibly come in handy, I doubt, uh, but it is, we know the time. Here we go. Copman Thorpe, 01907, Fleetways Taxis, we're building up clues, but nothing that's giving it away for me. What about this, Jorvik, the original Viking encounter. That's a clue, that is a clue, um, because that I think would put us, if you know your British history, the Vikings invaded on the east coast and they they it was part of their kingdom you know about a thousand years ago or more mainly more mainly sort of 700 800 AD that sort of time they owned all of this eastern part that was their kingdom and there is still remnants of the Vikings uh, here today the windmill that could mean we're in a flat area you know again pointing to the east so we're getting there. This is surely important. Micklegate Bar. Micklegate Bar? What have we got up here? We're in England, we know that much, but I kind of knew that anyway. So, and that's it. That is, the, they're all of our clues. So that's pretty hard. I would say, wait, we haven't looked at this. Electric buses. Ah, electric buses for a cleaner York. Okay, well, I was going to say, oh my God, look at that calibrated. Oh my goodness. Look at the compass at the top. I've only just seen that. Um, yeah, I was going to say our best clue is this one, Cotman Thorpe. Oh, York College. Apologies, I didn't see that. Anyway, we've got it, we've got it. And York, yes, it's in the east. Look, it's in prime Viking territory, right? 
Not anymore, luckily. Take your raping and pillaging elsewhere. No, I know that's an exaggerated uh, account of history. Uh, an unfair one. Anyway, let's try and find Blossom. We're all related to the Vikings anyway. All of everyone in Europe, technically, will be a descendant of a Viking. So, Blossom Street. The map's been a little bit slow. Micklegate Bridge. Are we here? There's Queen Street. There's Blossom Street. Didn't see it for a moment. Uh, there it is. Yeah, got it. To be honest, I was looking at the compass all wrong, despite having studied this top one. Uh, yeah, I can safely go there. That was a bit long drawn out, but we got there in the end. Well done if you also did too. York, it was written there. You just had to squint your eyes and strain your brain to see it. Moving on. Going for a perfect score here. It is loading up a bit slow, so sorry about that. The George Hotel, Weatherspoon. That is not your average Weatherspoon. That's more of a, a small looking hotel looking pub, but clearly it's been bought up by the evil conglomerate that is Weatherspoon. Right, I don't think we're gonna get any clues there. This could be a pretty hard one. This looks like just a tiny little town, this does. Right, need a clue over there. Cock, cock, cock what? Cook, cooks. Right, that's an O, not a C. Cooks something. That looks like it could be our only hope, this sign here. Fresh, beautiful Christmas trees. Damn. In fact, depending on where this is, I might actually take them up on that. Um, but yeah, I think this is, pr I think this is probably, uh, Devon, south, it could be south or north. I know that just doesn't cover me in glory. Uh, covers all bases, but Lloyd's Unisex Studio. Powys, ah, it's Wales. That makes sense. And someone's actually bought a Christmas tree here and discarded it, it seems. Yeah, I think we're beyond Christmas here and I think that sign is still up. Anyway, again, I don't know why I'm focusing on the date or time. We're in Powys, right? Right. Oh my goodness me. I've just realized where we are, I think. Have I? I think I have, but I might be wrong. I've been here. Let me check. This might be a good time, actually, to reveal to you that the latest mission is in Wales. It's attempt three. Mission across Wales three. And I have my good reasons for doing it. Uh, but all will be explained in the mission. But there you go. But I think this is in, and I, I hope I'm right here, Llanidlois, which is where we were based, or rather Verity was based while she helped us out on the mission. And, oh no. It looks so similar. But I don't think it's right. Uh, it's the mount. God, that looks similar. I swear we walked up there. But no, it's different. It's different. You can tell the, the roads don't correlate. It's too perpendicular down there. So I've told you that for no reason, but I think I was, I was going to have to tell you it at some point. Um, right, where to now then? I can get this. I think this might be a case of having a search. I need to know where the boundary of Powys is because it's such a big county. It's one of the biggest counties in Britain and I can't see the boundary at all. However, I'm going to search a few towns that I know are definitely in Powys and I'll start with Ryder and I will have to speed this up so you don't get bored. Right, here we go. So the old sw it's not helping that it's lagging a bit, but here we go. The Lost Ark, Lamb and Flag in. Okay, moving on from there. 
Let's try Flandid Flandridnod Wells. Bwilth Wells. And this pattern is going to continue. I'm going to speed this up because there are a lot of towns in Powys. I can't stress what a big county it is. Wish me luck. I'll speed this up for you. Mainly because it's lagging. Brecon. I found it. I don't believe it. Okay, I didn't need to speed that up at all. We're in Brecon. I was thinking it's got to be a fairly big town um, for it to have a Weatherspoons. That's what I figured. Um, and there, sure as hell, is one in Brecon. Lovely town on the River Usk. Here it is. Let's go there. I hope this is the right one. Yes, it is. Seven yards. Moving on. Well done if you got that, because that was that required a bit of searching, and it required the knowledge of what Powys was and where it was and what was within Powys and the likelihood um, that you'd be able to find the correct town within Powys. Luckily I got that fairly quickly though, let's move on. Now this looks gettable. What have we got here? I'm hoping for no repeat rounds, um, rounds that I've had before as well, but I think it's pretty unlikely, touch wood. Right, three Free, free house, Jesus. Free house, the new crown free house. Let me see if I can get a good thumbnail here because we've got two definitely tipsy revelers. This guy in particular, they're both on their phones, sign of the times. This guy's got a Guinness with a questionably large head, I would say. I think by the time that's completely settled, I might be sending that back, even if it did cost two pounds. This guy I think has gone for a Birra Moretti based on the shape of the glass there although it's blurred out but yeah I would say they are more what you'd call the regulars of locals. Um, more money going on drinks than trouser wear without a shadow of a doubt that's Sports Direct's finest. Uh, yeah I think Let's try and get, I've never tried to do this before in a video, but I want to get a good thumbnail. So we've got the weather spoons. Oh my God, sorry, I'm getting distracted left, right and center. Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to focus on there. Probably the trouser wear again, really. Or the lack of it is quite grotesque. Um, right, here we go. So... Oh God, there we go, that'll do. Right, no entry. Let's look around here. We've got an Indian cuisine. Let's see what shops are near to the Weatherspoons. Let's see if they fall into the typical category. Holland and Barrett does not. That's a health food shop, quite a pricey health food shop. Uh, Creens, I don't know what that is. That's a, oh, it's one of those dessert places that are popping up everywhere. Why have they got so big recently? I don't know. Can't see what's behind this bus. Uh, but we do know that we're, we've got to be in London. We've got to be on the outskirts of London, at least. Um, Wilton, Patis, Patisserie. Don't, I've never seen that before. Halifax Building Society. And come on, we've got to have at least one betting shop. No? Wow. Let's figure this out. Is this somewhere like Clapham Common or Golders Green? You know, an area, it, it definitely is an area just outside of the center of London, on the outskirts of London. But I cannot see, can't read the bus stops. I don't think I'm gonna find anything here. Uh, is that a Ladbrokes? Yes, we've got a betting shop. Got a betting shop. Small victories. And I say small victories because, yeah, I don't have high hopes here. I don't have high hopes. But I do have high ambitions of getting a perfect score. So I think what I'm going to have to do is search London. I know that sounds really ridiculous and extremely time consuming, but... I fancy my chances of 
zooming in to, I think I can spot them, these sorts of things where they have, you know, you've got the yellow buildings, which means, you know, shops and whatnot. And, you know, yeah, just, just having a look, zooming in and out of these places, Hampstead, Swiss Cottage, Golders Green, um, what else have we got? What's this place? Kentish Town. Places that would have been little villages and then got enveloped by London, but retained their sort of town centre, if you like, um, their main road, their shops. Let's try it. And I'm looking out for a BP garage on the western side, northwestern side. Okay, we can use this direction of the road as well. Obviously, we're looking for the new crown. And down there, we've got a metro station. Okay? I think we can do this. We can definitely do this. Here we go. I'll show a couple, then I'll start to speed it up if I don't have much luck. So, here's one. Don't think that's it because the Hampstead station is up to the north. Halsden. No. I'm looking in the north for now, but it could easily be in the south. How about this one? We've got Finsbury Park, Finsbury Park down there. Can't see a BP garage. And that's a no. I'm going to say them out loud as I go, so that I hopefully I remember them. How about this one? This is Wood Green. And that's a no. So no from Tottenham. And I am going to speed... The oh my God, it's happened again. I do not believe it. Okay, I had a feeling this was North London rather than South. I don't really know why. I Just the vibe of it. Just the vibe. Probably looks a little bit less lavish than some of the areas in the South. But I don't know. It was just the vibe. I've done a lot of delivering in London. But it's happened again. The new bloody crown. I've stumbled across it just as I said. I'm going to speed this up. I think the odds of that happening were really slim. The odds of me finding that just now. But I, I just saw... It's not even really a big one. It's quite a little one. Uh, as in main road with shops. There are much bigger ones about. But I saw the direction looked good. And I just saw it. The, the first thing I saw was the new crown. Boom. Five yards. Have we gone... Eight, se oh no, eight, seven, five. Well done if you're keeping up here, seriously. Um, I imagine most of you are British, but do let me know in the comments. I love reading your comments when I get the chance. I uh, love flicking through them, seeing how you fared. I want to know if you are American or from any other country in the world and you are on a perfect score right now. I want to know how you did if you're not from Britain. Moving on. The Widow Frost. Another fresh round that I've never had before. And why not? The Cheeky Monkey. Sally Twinkle. Handley Arcade. Okay. Handley. Is Handley an area of Stoke-on-Trent? Let's just hold that thought. Um, what else have we got? So... The Widow Frost is our interestingly named Weatherspoons. What's that? That 70s, 80s retro bar. I was just going to say, not the most imaginative of names. And it's closed down. And a sign down here, a road sign, is going to enable us to get this round. Nottingham, Derby, Newark. M... Is that the M1? Okay, I was going to say Stoke-on-Trent is looking good, but now I'm not so sure. M1 South. I don't think the uh, Stoke-on-Trent is... Yeah, okay, I guess it could be directing you to the M1 South. Nottingham, Derby. Newark, would, would, it really, would it really direct you to Newark? No, I don't think so. I'm going to check in Stoke now for Handley, because I think it might be... Hanley without the D. 
St yeah, it's Hanley. Apologies. So, we're not in Stoke. Newark, Nottingham, Derby. We can't really see that too well. Does that say Gladstone? I'm thinking Mansfield might be a... Yeah, Mansfield is probably the best option candidate here. Yeah, A60 is that? Yeah, I can believe that says A60. Gladstone, though, I can't really see that. Should we try and find it? I'm gambling on this being Mansfield. Okay, I can't see that right now. Apologies if it's there, which is more than likely, knowing me. Someone's flying the Leeds flag there. Um, but that's irrelevant. Right, Handley Arcade. I could just go into Mansfield and look for the Handley Arcade, but I just want to see if we can see Mansfield written down. Don't think we can. So I'm going to go into Mansfield and try and see if I can rule it out. The stag and pheasant, JD Weatherspoon. Wait. And why not? Maid Marion. The Widow Frost. Oh my goodness. I've never seen that before. Okay, and why not did it for me. Whatever that is. I think it's a bar. I, there, it's, it's round the corner. I just saw a sign for it. That's quite weird. But we've got two weather spoons. The Stag and Pheasant, which made me think we weren't in Mansfield. And then round the corner, the Widow Frost. Two in literally literally a stone's throw uh, from each other. That's crazy. So there we are. Mansfield, Derbyshire? Who knows? I think it's Derbyshire. But I've put the marker down. That might be quite a poor... Yeah, it's 12 yards, but we got it. Let's move on to the final round. Well done if you got that one. Because I don't think there was a clear-cut clue, but I think a bit of rummaging you would have got that. And here we go. Is this... Welcome to the Adult Learning Centre. Um, is this London again? Is this what, City Park? City Park. I recognise that building. Is that in Leeds or Manchester? Where's the Weatherspoons? This is really... This is a... This is a Photosmith taken a photo smith oh my god i thought oh that rhymes with smith yeah of course it does this is a photo sphere taken by stephen smith stephen smith's photo sphere it's quite hard to say anyway where is that that's a famous town hall and i think it's leeds i hmm I might be totally wrong, you know, it's it's probably not Leeds. I can't see any tall buildings, and Leeds would have taller buildings in view, I believe. We will get this. It's blurry. I'd imagine this was taken years ago with a Nokia 3310 or something like that. Uh, I can't see anyone wearing Leeds paraphernalia. I'll go into Leeds quickly. I just just ruling it out more than anything. Can't, I can't actually see for once. I can't see what this weather spoons is called. I don't think we're here. We're obviously in a big city. I will get this. We're obviously in a big city. Right. I'm going to have to stop because I want to get a perfect score here. I really do. I am going to have to start searching cities in Britain. No, I think that's a no-go. Uh, and I don't think Blackpool is a city. I don't think we are in Glasgow. I'll try Manchester. Cardiff next. Leicester. I'm thinking no. Right, so now we've got to go to where? Where next? Uh, Liverpool? Is this Wolverhampton? Nottingham. 
He's a strong candidate now. Wow. I mean, where the hell are we? Can't believe how much I've struggled on this. Bradford? Wait, is that... Okay, we've... What are the candidates? Derby, Bradford. Let's try Bradford. City Park. Oh, yeah, yeah. It came to me. I got excited about Bradford because I, I remembered that they, there is a building like that in Bradford. Uh, just didn't think of it for ages. Right, here we go. The Turles Green. Where's the Nando's? Oh, that's Nando's. That's the Turles... Apparently it's there somewhere. Uh, yeah, let's go there and hope that we're, we're within range. 22 yards, just about, just about. Didn't see a pool there. Sorry, curiosity gets the better of me. Yeah, did not look at that as a pool. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Let me know in the comments. Um, but that is job done. That's a perfect score. Bradford, I toiled over in the end. Really, really toiled over. I was starting to go a bit mad, but yeah, I got there in the end. Bradford, yeah. Near Leeds, very near Leeds. Maybe that's why I got confused. No, probably not. Anyway, did you get a perfect score? Do let me know in the comments, and while you're at it, drop me a like for my efforts. Um, and by efforts, I mainly mean the hours of editing I'm putting in every day. There will be another play along soon. It will be Capital Cities and I don't think many of you will take too much of an issue with that. I'll see you there. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching.